The basic location precision modeling is done horizontally in SimpleBIM. This works for most use cases, however, sometimes you might want to model to a random surface. My name is Sakari Lehtinen, welcome. In this tutorial, you will learn how to model location prisms to random surfaces. Before you continue with this tutorial, you should already be familiar with the basic location prism modeling. If not, please check the basic modeling tutorial first. Click on the model free location prisms from the create location prism ribbon menu. The modeling dialog opens. This time it's a little bit different than in the basic modeling. You have few options here. Still, you can set the identifiers as before. Let's say we are trying to find the building elements from the envelope of the building. So it's an envelope. Select a building if your model has multiple ones. This way your prism will end up to the right place in the model tree. The bottom surface and thus the modeling plane for the free prism is always defined by picking a surface. The height of the extrusion can be defined either by picking a point or with an exact number. Select the latter one and put in for example 1 meter. The number can be input in any units you prefer. The footprint of the prism will be extruded this amount away from the defined surface. Finally, you can set an offset if you like. Let's input half a meter offset to the bottom. Click OK. The modeling starts. Follow the instructions in the status bar as before. First pick the modeling plane. It can be in any direction. Pick for example a wall surface. Note that in this case the extrusion will happen away from this surface because we gave the height as a number. So for example which side of the wall you pick will have an effect to the end result. Next define the footprint. This time your footprint is projected to the modeling plane you defined in the previous step, not horizontally as in the basic modeling. So you need to pick the points accordingly. However, same as with the basic modeling, the points can be anywhere from the model. They don't have to be from the modeling plane. Finish the footprint by pressing enter, the prism is created. If you measure it, it is indeed one and a half meter thick. One meter away from the defined surface and with half a meter offset into the surface, as defined. You could use this kind of prism to find the building elements belonging to the envelope structure contract of the building. Let's try another one. Click on the model free location prism from the menu. This will be a building volume. Select pick point for the height. No offset this time. Click OK. Select for example the end of the building. Model the footprint. Note that it can indeed be of any shape. Press enter to finish the footprint. Now, unlike when defining the height with a number, when picking the height, the extrusion can happen to either direction, away or into the surface. It depends which side you pick the point. For example, pick the other end of the building, sort of behind the surface. And here's the end result. Cool. One more for the road. This time it's snow on the roof, you know, because we are from Finland. Just to demonstrate that the surface can indeed be of any direction. Pick a roof surface as your modeling plane, finish the modeling, and there you go. In this tutorial you learned how to model location prisms to random surfaces. Please check the other tutorials to learn more. Thank you for watching, see you next time.